I don't care who rock it, I'ma own it. Okay, that didn't... Hello besties, happy new year! Ah! Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Happy new year. I am so excited to see all of you. We are in store for an amazing year, God willing. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, stop what you're doing, drop me your scent of the day because I love knowing what you're rocking, and also go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, tap your notification bell because I would hate for you to miss a video over here. And if you really want to become a bestie, come over, slide in the DM, and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are still talking about my most, what am I even calling this video? We're still talking about the most worn, most loved, most worst and best from 2022. If you want to hear more, please continue to watch. I am going to be starting with two new fragrances, actually four, okay? Two new fragrances by the team over at Michael Malou London. They sent these over for my review. I do have a discount code with them, you guys. It is going to be linked in the description box below. But for those of you that are always looking to shop, looking for new fragrances and affordable, I might say, something that won't break the bank, this is for you. They have two new fragrances that they came out with. This one is called Citizen Jill Sun Kissed. Now, I do want to say that you will be able to pick this particular fragrance up at fragrancenet.com. All of the information will be linked in the description box below. I did have a few weeks to play with this, so I'm super excited that I can come to you and share this review with you. This is what the bottle looks like. You are able to pick it up from the cap. Now, I'm gonna say right off the bat, if you remember when they launched Citizen Jill, I believe it was like last year, it was more like a California flair kind of fragrance. That fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. I compared the two, of course, because it's what she does. I still prefer that one over this one, but this one here is really beautiful and they have an amazing mister. Michael Malou London offers an amazing mister. I'm a mister kind of girl and this here, I love it. This is fresh, this is clean. You have bergamot in here, it opens up really pretty. It's sweet, jasmine, green patchouli and cedar wood. In my opinion, beautiful fragrance. It's definitely a spring summer type of fragrance. If you live somewhere like LA uh, where it's, you know, typically nice weather all year round. No shameless plug, I'm just saying. This will be good for year round. It is a beautiful fragrance, so I'll have all the information linked in the description box below. Make sure you check out fragrancenet.com. I move on. Another one they came out with, and now this is a little hotter, a little deeper, a little sexier. I cannot for the life of me place my nose or my head on where I smelt this before. I've had this fragrance in my collection immediately when I took off the cap, it brought back so many memories and I was like, oh my gosh, like I've totally had this before or I still have it, but I can't compartmentalize where I've smelt this before, but it's very familiar. This one is called No Angel, same type of you know, mechanism, you can hold the bottle by its cap. It is weighted too, so the caps and the bottles are really nice. It does have a really nice mister on it as well. Same as our other one. I've already played with this one as well. And oh my gosh, I just don't know how to compartmentalize it. It's so good, it's sexy, it's date night. I know that part, but I don't know where I've smelt this before. Oh my gosh, it's so so super good, it's so sexy. Um, I would say both of these. This one is a little bit lighter. I will say that Citizen Jill Sun Kiss is a little bit lighter, a little bit more airier. Like I said, spring, summer. This one right here, no angel, it's perfect for right now. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's seductive, it's warm, it's got some amber. It's a beautiful clove note in the beginning. It has a French lavender, orchid, zesty orange, ylang ylang, musk, patchouli, and the dry down? Talk about the dry down. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I will have this linked in the description box below. I want to let you know that you can pick this up at perfumemania.com and their information will be in the description box below as well. I move on. They do have two other ones that I want to briefly mention and tell you about. Prima Flora. You can pick this up at fragrancenet.com and they do have another one called Petite Bouquet. You can pick this one up at perfumemania.com as well. All of the information will be linked in the description 
description box below. Shout out to the team over at Michael Malou for collaborating with me on today's video. I truly appreciate you. Now listen, let's talk about some of the fragrances that came out in 2022 that I feel were amazing and some that I got my nose on and I just wasn't moved. Okay, I will never bash a fragrance and say, oh, best and worst. It's a good catchy title. So if I use that title, I use it because I wanted y'all to click on and watch. But what I'm saying is that I will never say a fragrance is the worst fragrance. It's somebody's cup of tea, okay? It just may not be mine. Windflowers, you guys, and I'm not real confident when talking about windflowers because I swear that it said it came out in 2021, but I feel it came out in 2022. Help me out in the comments section. Did it come out in 2021 or 2022? I'm gonna talk about it because I feel it came out in 2020 and 2022. This is a beautiful white floral fragrance. When it came out, it was a bottle alone that captivated so many of us. It is a beautiful, I would say wedding day fragrance. It's jasmine, tube rose, musk, praline, it's iris. It is a beautiful windflowers. Even the name, it's just gorgeous. If you were getting married, if you were thinking of something signature scent worthy, everyday worthy, soft, pretty, sexy, romantic, girly, feminine, all the things, right? clean aesthetic. Let's just play on the words. They're still going strong even in 2023. This is the way to go. So I will say shout out to the team over at Creed. You did that with this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. I move on. Another one and I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Oh my gosh, but it was alien. But this one was in 2021. Alien Goddess Intense was in 2022. I did the comparison. I prefer alien goddess and i'm gonna tell you why it's the creamy coconut bergamot in the initial that holds there a little bit before it leaves on and then it dries down and you get more of the vanilla you get more of the jasmine it's a beautiful fragrance i feel it could be worn year round it is so uber uber sexy i absolutely love it now with alien goddess intense I love that one as well, but it's a little bit hotter, deeper, more sensual to me. It's really good for cold weather. I would not reach for that in the hot weather, in the warm, um, in the summer, anything like that. This one right here also gives me, and I say this very lightly, it also gives me reminisce of Soleil Blanc. I know, my favorite. It gives me reminisce of Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. I love that fragrance. It's very luxurious, it's very elegant, it's very summertime fun, it's very yacht, like I said, luxurious. I mean, it's just expensive, it's classy, it's elegant, it's regal, and I love it. And this is kind of putting me in the same vibe, but with a tad bit more depth. It's a little bit more deeper. I don't wanna say heavier, but I guess that would be the proper term for it. But this right here, this makes me happy. Oh my gosh, again, this is a 2021 release. I told you I'm doing me. <laughs> this right here is good. If you have this, so many of you were like, yeah, I have it, I love it. So if I have a discount code for it, I'm gonna link it in the description box below. I would highly recommend smelling it. Like I said, I'm not a huge uh, goddess girl. I just got into it once I did the collaboration with the brand and you guys asked me to go smell it uh, last July. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. So thank you for putting me on. And I absolutely love it. So uh, 2021, 2022, this right here, it's where it's at all 2023. I move on. I did work with Confessions of a Rebel this year and they released a fragrance called Get a Room and Order Champagne. You guys, this fragrance right here is set at X. See, it will not break the bank. It is affordable. It is gorgeous. It is deep. It is dark. Now they do have one called Just Get a Room. But this one had me at an order champagne. I am a champagne kind of girl and I love this fragrance. It's really good. It's got raspberry, mandarin, jasmine, cocoa accord, patchouli, vanilla. It's juicy. It's sexy. It's seductive. It's date night. Hello. It's long lasting. Oh my gosh, it's good. This right here is really, really good. So Confessions of a Rebel, shout out to you. You did that with this one right here. Confessions of a Rebel, this right here is a winner and it is good, good in my book. Sheree approved, I move on. Another one that came out, let's talk about it. I have put this in so many videos now. This has golden rum, cream brulee, brown sugar, Royal Oud and Sugared Patchouli. This is sexy, this is long lasting. On me, I get a good seven plus hours. I do spray heavy, I do spray my clothes. This is my New Year's Eve scent. I uh, wore this and I mixed it with uh, Alien Goddess. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know this because I don't gatekeep, I'm always spilling the tea and sharing the good good. And this right here is really good good. 
Um, the dry down to me is more sexier than anything. It's the dry down for me. Once you get past the initial of what in the world, because that's just how I felt, always gonna tell you the truth. Um, it's really good. So I did like it. Now I do like this. Yeah, it's really good. I do like this mixed with Kayali Vanilla 28 or either Eden Juicy Apple or even Burning Love Fest. All of their fragrances by Kayali can be, you know, mixed and matched and things like that. But I just find for me, this needs a little bit more sweetened up. And I want to say, if you try this and pair this with Oud Satin Mood, thank me later, dwellings. Thanks me later. This right here is good, good. So shout out to the team over at Kayali. Hey, Mona. This right here is a beautiful fragrance. And thank you for making my New Year's Eve unforgettable. I move on. The House of Siage. House of Siage. Come in close, come in close, come in close. Hit after hit after hit after hit. I have Avatar, you guys. I do. I smelt it. It is so good. I'm going through the Harry Potter one. I'll be, is I say that right? Did I say that right? Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm going through those. I will be back to give you more in depth details, but they killed it this year. I mean, they really, or I should say 2022, they had so many hits, so many releases. My other favorite was in another video, which was Minnie Mouse. It is absolutely to die for. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful, and I love it. Another one that was phenomenal was this one here. This is Ruby Rain. It had me at the bottle. Do you see that with all the Swarovski crystals going around the cap dwelling? This right here was just like, Girl, what are we doing? I was spraying this like crazy when it first came out. Like, oh God, yes. Let's just spray some. Sometimes it just does that. Like this blouse, I know it's white and you would think, oh my God, it's gonna stain. I've done it before. I always wear white and I always was wearing this fragrance in the summer when it first came out or when it first came out. I don't know if it came out in summer, but I was rocking it. Anyways, um, you guys, this is saffron. It's cedar, it's rose, it's citrus, it's oud, it's patchouli, it's amber, it's musk. It's all the notes that I love. I was talking to one of you and you were like, oh my God, girl, my husband ordered this for me for Christmas. And you were like, I don't know. I don't know if I really like it. It's kind of like doing the most. It is. It's the saffron, the cedar. It's got some oud in it. So you're probably looking for a way to sweeten it up. I would say try pairing this, girlfriend, with uh, Eden Juicy Apple 01. Maybe try pairing it with Love Fest, uh, Kayali Vanilla 28. You know, those are all the ones that I recommend pairing with. Or even try pairing it with, um, if you picked up the Minnie Mouse or that one, it will add a little bit of sweetness to it. It is a beautiful fragrance, but I will say that this is not blind by worthy. It's the saffron note in the opening in the beginning. If you're not a fan of those type of notes or like a oody, hot, heavier kind of fragrance, this may not be for you. For me, oh my gosh, it's where it's at. I move on. Shout out to the team over at House of Siage. You already know how I feel about you. Another amazing, amazing launch. Two body oils. And I could be wrong, girl. You guys, I did look this stuff up, okay? I did look it up. But for some reason, I just want to make up my own mind because this is when I got it. Oh, God, girl, you just can't be changing the rules. Okay, okay, let's talk about it. Delina, the body oil, did not release in 2022? It had to. Hit the like button if it released in 2022. Hit the subscribe button if it didn't. And if you have no idea, then just hit any button. It really doesn't matter over here. We just want you to hit a button. This I loved. I love the house of Perfumes de Mali. They are like one of my absolute favorites. And when this came out, I reached out to all the girls and the guys on Instagram and TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, it's official. It's open, it's online, it's online. And I ordered mine right away. Great shipping, fast service, fast delivery, and I want it more. I want it more, you guys. I wanted it to smell louder. I wanted it to come across stronger. It is a beautiful fragrance. You know, it does smell just like Delina. It smells, you know, highly remnants to the fragrance, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more potent, a little bit more in your face. And it is... Eh. I'm a fan of the brand. They can put out chewing gum at this point. And if it said Delina, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna buy it because I'm just a fan girl of the brand and of Delina. So at this point, they could just put out, like I said, gum, Delina, sold, I'll take one, please. Send one for my backup uh, area too, send one. So I'm that girl, but if I were to be honest, I get a lot of questions all the time where you guys are asking, would I recommend this or would I recommend the body cream? I would definitely recommend the body cream over the body oil. That's just my honest opinion. If you wanted something that 
that would pair well with your Delina body cream and your Delina uh, body, not body, but fragrance, I would say get the Nest Turkish Rose perfume oil. That one is highly scented, but this is beautiful. I am a fan. When I run out, would I buy it again? I honestly can't answer that. It is a nice to have. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. However, I do wish that it was just a little bit more potent and I wish that it lasts a little bit longer. As far as it being a dry down, you see I already sprayed my arm and it, I mean my hand and it has already dried down. It is a dry body oil. It's not like Johnson and Johnson's. It's not gonna leave you looking like Crisco all greased and shined up. It's not gonna do that. But it is gonna get on the body, penetrate into the skin and leave a nice dry body finish oil. I move on to the house of Perfumes de Mali. I do love the body oil. However, comma, I just wish that it just had a little bit more fragrant to it. Like it was a little bit more potent and maybe some shimmer too, cause I'm a shimmer kind of girl. Just saying, call me, we can talk. Okay, okay, I move on. Okay, our final one. Ah! Oh my gosh, you guys, look, 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 look. Ah. This took me by storm. This took me by storm. You know, if you don't know, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Fangirl of BR540. I don't care who rock it, I'ma own it. Okay, that didn't... Bluetooth disconnected. Okay, thank you. Anyways, um, you guys, this here I do love. Now I'm going to say this. This is just as fragrant is uh, the body oil by Delina. It's not, you know, the fragrance by any stretch of the imagination. You know what I mean? If you told me, girl, I can only get one, I'm gonna give you the order I would go in. I would get the body cream. We're saying if you weren't able to get the fragrance, I would get the body cream. I would get the elixir, which is the dabbers that you roll under on you. I would get the body oil or I would get this. Now this was supposed to be a limited edition. They're not gonna have any more. So of course, being the fangirl of BR540 that I am, I had to add it in my collection and I'm so excited and so fortunate that I was able to get my hands on it and I was able to do so. Now, if you watch that vlog, I showed you, this comes out, this is a dry oil as well. I put it right on top. It does have the shimmer in there. This is a true dry body oil. It has a shimmer in there and you're able to see it. But the thing that I love most about this, you guys, you're not gonna be able to see it no matter how close I get. Just take my word for it. You know I wouldn't steer you wrong. I'm always gonna tell you the truth. This has really light specks of sparkle in it. Um, I have my favorite, which I'm gonna tell you what that is. These sparks are a lot lighter than the ones in my other fragrance. These are really, really fine. Uh, they're really like really pretty. You can put them on your decollete. You can put it all over your body and you wouldn't look like a disco glow, glow bomb. Uh, remember what I said about applying body oils and shimmers and that type of thing. Always get like a pom-pom brush and douse it over you like this so you can have it evenly distributed everywhere. It's gonna look really pretty and like you're not new to this. Okay, you don't wanna look like a disco ball. We don't do that in 2023, not anymore. So this this is beautiful. Um, as far as it being really scented, I wouldn't buy this for the scent. If you were buying it to smell like BR540, I wouldn't. Um, I have paired this many nights and just slept in this just to see how the fragrant portion um, gave and delivered. It's there. It's not pronounced, but it is there. Uh, if you get close to the skin and you smell yourself, you will smell like BR540. It's beautiful. This was not a need, it was a want. It was a nice to have. It was, I wanna be a part of the movement. I wanna have this in my collection because it was set to be a limited edition. And I'm so excited I have it. If it is still out and I can find it, I will definitely link it in the description box below for you because this is absolutely gorgeous. I will say this too, I got it and when I just sat it down before I had to start using it, all the shimmer does drop down to the bottom. And you're like, what in the heck, it all separated. Well, just shake it back up, it's like a, a snow globe. It does the same thing, it just comes right back. So it settles down to the bottom, but if you just shake it up, it comes right back. I love it. I If I had to do it again, I would repurchase this again. For the simple fact, like I said, fangirl, and it's a limited edition. So shout out to Maison Francis Kirk John for this launch. I absolutely love it. A beautiful, beautiful addition to Maison Francis Kirk John's collection of BR540 in 2022. I move on. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel. I truly appreciate you. Make sure you check out perfumemania.com as well as fragrancenet.com. All of the information on both fragrances 
No Angel, as well as Citizen Jill Sunkiss will be linked in the description box below. Again, thank you to the team over at Michael Malou for collaborating with me on today's video. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, duelings. Thanks for watching. Bye.